My name is Ignazio Maria Viola. I'm a senior lecturer at the Institute for Energy Systems at the School of Engineering of the University of Edinburgh. I work on applied fluid mechanics and my main research interest is on the flow around immersed bodies. So what I'm interested in is when the fluids around the body would generate large vortical structures, vortices in practice. And these vortices are actually responsible for the forces and the moments, the loads on the body itself. So I study the formation, the stability and the dynamics of these vortices with mostly the aim to control what they do and therefore to be able to decide which are going to be the forces on the body which is immersed in the fluid. The way we study these applications and these vortices are typically either with numerical simulations or with physical experiments. So when we do, for instance, a simulation of the flow around the wing, what we can actually see is tracking what is the behavior of the air, when it will actually go closer to the object, and then starting swirling and rotating. And these rotations typically is what generates some strong suction, which actually will generate the forces on the body. So we can actually track the behavior of the flow around the body and imagine virtually how we could actually potentially uh, modify it and manipulate the vortex. The Edinburgh Food Dynamics Group is a group of about 50 to 60 academics at the University of Edinburgh and we're all working in a way or another on the fluid mechanics, which means that there are people working on the water in the ocean, as well as the blood in the body of a person. And all of these different backgrounds comes together in order to generate synergies for excellent research. An interesting application is the wing of an airplane. What happened is that if the flow conditions changes rapidly enough, the loads on the wing will change very, very dramatically. And they actually can change much more, not depending on how much the flow conditions are changed, but depending on how fast they have changed. So what can happen for, for instance, on a flexible wing or a flexible blade is that the flexibility can be exploited to actually generate the voices you want to decrease the drag, to improve the performance, to decrease actually the full consumption. And in some conditions, you can actually have that you use your flexibility actively to move forward. This is the example of the fish, but it's also the example, for instance, of birds, which means that we can design micro aerial vehicles which are capable to exploit the flexibility of their wings to actually move forward. It's very interesting to see your own understanding of the fluids being challenged by conditions where the physics of flow that you have always used don't apply anymore.